Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders and YouTube for another market analysis for the London session. Today is August 25th, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be August 26th, 2021 in London. Today we'll be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we'll be looking at. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So for S&P 500, we did have a nice uh, bounce to the upside here for the most part today. Slower grind. We were in a slight range. It took a little bit of time to get that push to the upside. But we did get a nice push and then came right back down. Popped up close to about 4,500. So let's see. Somewhere right around these 4,498s. Close enough there and then started to pull down. And uh, it is looking to make its way back down. We'll see if we get back down to a main support at 44.75.75. And if we do, that's where we're going to be looking for our first support to come in right here. Maybe a couple bounces and then get a push to the upside. Uh, below these 75s, next level 44.61.25. And then below that 44.39.25 as the next level down. So we'll keep that in mind. Now for those who like the short opportunity... Um, because we're underneath 4492.25, best to look for the short right here at resistance here. Could get a nice opportunity to try to short it right back down uh, into the support if it does come back and curl up that way. But with that, let's go ahead and look at a smaller chart here up on S&P 500. Open up this chart here on S&P, you can see the smaller movement. If we do curl back up against this level of 91.25, Again, look for the resistance here. Maybe get a nice fade opportunity to try to pull it down deeper into those 75 to 77s. But again, this is going to probably be the best area for a long support right now. Um, from here, if we get a couple bounces, that could be where we're looking for the long opportunity to bounce right back up to the mid area, which is right around these 85, 86s, and then back into those 91.25s. So again, we'll look out for that. Now, if price gets back above those 91.25s and holds support on top, Look for the market to try to push up to those 4500s, then 4506, um, and then above that level. So we'll see what happens into the London session for S&P. Let's move over into gold. So moving on to gold here, you can see that we did rip below some of the prior support, 1792. We bounced a couple times and then kind of pushed right through that. Got a nice resistance to try to pull it down and then uh, pop right back up. So we're chopping between this level of 1792, but that is our resistance. Maybe get it down to support 1782.3 and then below that 1776.3 as the next level down for the support. So we'll see what happens there. But again, we are looking for the market to come here and support bounce there or look for the market to come here and then support bounce right up there. So that's going to be our opportunities for the longs. Now resistance, want to come into this area right here, 92, and hold it cleanly. If we're not holding resistance cleanly here, it's going to be tough to try to take the short from that area. Um, but again, it is moving down, so you could look for that opportunity to try to short uh, to continue down into those 82.3s. But again, best area for me is going to be those 92s holding underneath that level is going to give us a good opportunity to try to pull down. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold for you guys. So right now you can see that chop between the level. It pushed through, came back down, found support, held a little bit, then pushed right down, and then started to hold this area here. Now again, I want to see this hold this 92 area nicely nice and clean if we get that opportunity look for the continued short into the level down below 1782.3 and then 1776.3 as the next level down for the support areas now again if we can't get through those 82.3s that could be a great opportunity for a long if we get a couple a couple bounces maybe a double bottom if not again 76.3 if we get a couple bounces there could be a good opportunity as well so we'll look out for that for the london session let's move over into crude oil so with that on crude oil pulling up this chart here you can see we're up above 6786 right now if we can catch the support here Look for the market to try to extend our next level up 69.37. So I want to see if the market holds the bullishness here and then pushes up into the next level of 69.37. If not, look for the market to try to come back down, maybe right around these 6689s. There is a little bit of a closer level, which could be somewhere around these 67.22. So we'll see what happens here at this area. If the market decides to pull down, maybe get support here 
or come down into a main level of support 66.89 for the bounce up. Now you get below 89, 66.29, and then 65.37 as the next support levels down below. So we'll see what happens there. But again, bullish right now. So we'll see if we continue back up to 69.37 on crude oil. But with that said, guys, that is it for S&P 500 gold and also oil. Again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. Now, if you are struggling to find consistency and success in trading, feel free to join us here at Pure Structure Trading, become a member with us, take some coaching program or a coaching session with us. We would love to help you find consistency and success in trading. Other than that, guys, if you guys continue to trade, make sure you guys trade well. You guys have a great night. Take care.